Smith Falls, uh, 214. Oh, for 214? 214. Can you attach me to call 4365, please? Go for 214, attaching a call 4365. And can I mark you 10 7 on the call right now? Uh, 10 4. No, you have lights in your vehicle. But that wasn't the original reason for the stop. Circumstances can change, though, can't they not? It could. But again, so... if you guys find anything, this has been a more than lengthy, unreasonable amount of time. Okay, if... well, we have reason to suspect you may be possibly impersonating law enforcement. And so I'm for the there. purpose of that, Put it to the we rest. would like I'm to not. see you turn on the lights. And I would respectfully deny that request. I would probably suggest that you turn them on. Is that coercion? It would be Not in your playing. best interest to turn on the lights. There you go. Congrats. So, are you a security guard? I do have my security license, that is correct. But so then you can't have... Like All we want to know is if you have flashing blue lights. Yeah. I'd like to see my security license. Yeah, we, we, yeah I would just want to see the lights if see if, uh, Cause you know, we need to see whether they're red and blue lights, if they are red and blue lights then... There you go. Cheers mate. I work for blue and blue security. Are you gonna turn lights on, mate? Uh... I no, I just showed you that, and you asked if I was security, and I said yes, and I gave you my security credentials. I didn't I see your did lights. I did not see the lights turn on. They most definitely turned on. I flipped the selector switch, and I flipped per your request. Now can we leave? I did what you requested, which you guys were threatening to we, arrest me. Well, we didn't see him, so right. how do you know? Well, maybe you should open your eyes. Okay, we well, can just do it one more time for me. Leave him on for about five to ten seconds. Go. Those are red and blues. Okay, step out. No, they're not. Those are red and blues. They're I said keep them on for five to ten seconds. Keep them on. Turn them on. They're keep red them on. And white. Why? Prove it to me then. Turn them on and keep them on. Yep, red and blues. There's no blue. That is, that. that is white. Yeah, Those yeah. Are very broken. Oh, they're they're red and white. Yep. Yeah, he's not supposed to have They look blue, alright. I find them. I mean, I want to step out of the vehicle. So hard. Go on, I want to step out of the They're red and whites. They're red and whites. They red just look blue stuff. from. I think it was just a reflection of the uh, vehicle paint there. Did you guys uh, get a security license? Sorry, was that? Did you guys get. Uh, did you guys see a security license? Okay. Yeah, here it is. Alright, alright, cool. Is, is there a reason why you have red lights there? I don't have to answer any more questions. I asked, I did what you asked. Now give me my li driver's license back so I can leave. But you do realize you're not allowed to have red lights in your car. No, you can you can have the reds, it's the flesh and blues. That would be a problem. There's no is flesh you? and blues, he's good. He's allowed to have reds in his car. He is allowed to have reds in his car because if his security license is legit, which I'm assuming it is, uh, any vehicle that in Canada that is designed for preventing crime, maintaining safety, uh, and peace and order uh, is authorized to have red and white flashing lights. Since he is a security okay. officer, he does fall under that category. Okay. Cheers, person. Thank you, Higgins. All right.
Damn it, here you go. Am I free to go? Yes, you are. Alright, well, we're going to a suspicious person call. According to dispatch, the person is doing sus suspicious doodling? Is a term that they uh, used? Smith Falls of 400, I'm gonna be on scene. Try for a shiny 10 seven. You got like uh, uh, a work ID or anything though? Uh, somewhere in a truck. You mind having a look? Yeah, just so I can cross my T's, dot my I's, right? I'll get the plate. Yeah, thanks, man. Uh, there's no need for that. It, uh, it's a new truck. Can't you see it? I don't think she's registered yet. Uh, well, if it's not registered, even if it's a city vehicle, it can't be on the road, right? Yeah, I believe so. However, sir, that's why it's in the parking lot. You, you the one that wanted it? Or is it the guy yeah, that just yeah. ran away? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it was me. There you go. Best I got. What uh? What happened to your badge? Do it okay. Yeah, just just some casual work as we do here in the roads and transportation for the city of Ottawa. Okay, uh, what's your name, pal? Kyle. All right, Kyle. Do you have a last name? And your last name, Kyle? O'Brien, and there's a comma in there. Kyle all right, I'll go look it up. O'Brien. Okay. Is it? Yeah. All right. Let's just write that down here. All right. Alright, if you just want to hang out for a minute, Kyle, I'll be back with you uh, shortly, and I'm well, sure we'll get this don't all cleared up. Well, don't like if I'm standing still too long. Can I, can I go back to work? Uh, you know what? Yeah, sure. You can go back There's to work for now, just don't wires, leave. So I just, I gotta make sure, you know, they don't shock nobody, otherwise I'm on the Yeah, train, yeah, that, that, that's fine. I just gotta, because your name's not visible on the badge here, I just gotta make a phone call. Um, uh, once I'm done with that, well, I'm sure this yeah, will all be yeah, cleared yeah. up. Mm -hmm. I'll just keep working on the lines. Um, one thing real quick, just want to make sure, outro layer verification, can you, uh, state your date of birth for me? Uh, Sir? Uh, hold on, hold on. You know, I don't have a date of birth per, per my birth certificate. <laughs> Well, I don't know obviously if that's an error on my you end. would have to because I think according it's an error to on this, my end, uh, it's not showing it. <laughs> um, it was okay. uh, 
Yeah, yeah. Do you have a? Do you know your social? Our that's last four digits of social. No, that's a little personal. You're trying to steal my, my identity. No, sir. Um, I can see. If I look up your name, I can see your social here. It tells me what it is. I just want to verify that you are who you are because of the ripped card and just the uh, fact that you don't remember your own birthday sure, is sure. kind of Three, strange. Eight, so. four. Okay. Appreciate it. Uh, checks out. You're I'm all good. Awesome thing. Uh, as long as, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that was fun. Let's go back ten eight and wait for the next one. Two fourteen. Do you still see that uh, public works vehicle? Uh, 214, that's going to be negative at this time. We proceeded northbound on Grove. Lost eyes. Alpha 400 has eyes on the vehicle. He will be at the LTD on the corner of Grove and Davis. And Kilo 403 from 214, is there a reason why we need to stop him again? Uh, yeah, if you could just go 1011 with them, I just gotta make another phone call here, because allegedly that truck was retired and is no longer in service, so something's going on here. 10 for Smith Falls, uh, 214. 214? Uh, you can show myself in 400. Hey, buddy, can I get you to stop there? Hey, hey sir, Come real on. quick. Uh, you just want to hang out here for us and with Smith us Falls for a second. We're gonna have a new stop location, nine zero nine four Grove Street at the I'm LTD. Just the truck up for the day. Okay. Um, do you mind just having a seat Somewhere. on this curb down here? Uh, uh these, there's some complications that came well. up with my. I'd rather stand. Okay. Well, you were squatting earlier. Oh, <laughs> it's fine. Uh, but anyways, you're just gonna be. Um, What's the problem? So, there seems to be a current, or a, um, a few issues that are arising. So, my partner, uh, or my coworker is going to check that out. Uh, and then he'll give us a call. And if everything checks out, you'll be good for 100% uh, this time. If not, and then we can deal with the issues that come up. Fine. Can I at least put some more dip in? Do you have the dip in your pocket? Yeah. Uh, sure, that's fine. I don't know why I'm drinking my dip cup, but yeah. Yeah, uh, just fitting it in really closely. Say that again, sir. Just spitting your uh, dip in really closely. Yep. As you got us, uh, my aim ain't the best as it used to be. Yeah, I feel that. Um, I do have to ask, do you have any weapons on you currently? Or in your vehicle? Uh, I got a pocket knife. It's my work knife. Right. I'm cutting things, you know, cutting the wires. Wire things. And these, uh, these scissors. I mean, I don't know how dangerous right. you think I am with scissors, but... You're fine.
as, as the Mr. Krabs once said, ah, bikini bottom, you know? You know, making that day's work. Alright, hey Kyle. Yes, sir. You want some dip? Alright, right now I need you to do me a favor. Can you put that coffee cup or whatever you're holding just on the ground beside you? It's a dip cup. Oh, your your uh, your spit your spit cup then? Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Smith Falls, two fourteen. Two fourteen. Got a large fire and smoke at uh, Mosley's Auto Service. Postal's gonna be nine zero nine two Carson Avenue. No, I'm okay, thanks. Once you have uh, the cup down, I need you to face away from me and put your hands behind your back right now, okay? Smith was 213. 213? Okay, there's a fire. Uh, well, right, gonna be on scene of that so fire. Right now, it's to be in the garage portion of the building. Yeah, we're, we're getting the fire department down to that. Yeah, that's being taken care of. You, We need to deal with what's going on right here yeah. now. So right now, I need you to turn around and put your hands behind your back. I'll explain everything to you once I have handcuffs on you, okay? You can explain it to me now. No, I need you to uh, face away from me. Put your hands behind your back uh, first, okay? No. Last time I did okay, that, some things happened. You're saying that you're not. So you're saying that you're not going to comply with my orders right now? That. Get out from that... behind me, pal. All right, buddy. Come on. To, to do that right. would be an additional charge of obstruct peace officer, right? And I don't think you want to do that. I yeah. can't see mm -hmm. anything with my blue glasses. Here, uh, uh it. You. Alright, um, grabs. Hey, right, don't touch me, man. Messing with the bull, you're gonna get the. whatever bulls have. I would not. Alright, put, put your arm behind your back. Or put your arm behind your back. That. Miller, can you grab his left arm? I got his right arm here. Yeah. Alright, put your hand behind your back. Don't fight us, okay? Touch me, man. Hey, okay. no, okay. Come on, pal. The the easier we can do this, the easier things are gonna be. Okay. Just just the easier we get this done, the easier oh, yeah. things are gonna be. Okay. Okay, Kyle. So the reason that you're in custody is I called the city. Okay. I called Public Works, and uh, they informed me that you got let go a couple days ago. They also informed me that that truck is no longer active, and it should not be on the road. Well, the, the title, so, the title just needs to get under my name. I talked to the foreman about it. Talk to the foreman about, about what exactly? About getting the truck under my name. Okay, that doesn't explain why it was misplaced, as I was told, or otherwise well, know, it's man. unaccounted I, for gave it to me. by the city, so... You're driving a vehicle that's owned by the city of Ottawa when you are not entitled to drive any vehicles that are owned by the city of Ottawa because your employment there was terminated, right? That's my truck. I've driven it since day one. That's okay, the it's, I, I understand it might have been assigned to you the same way that a lot of us, we, you know, we tend to drive the same vehicle every shift. It doesn't mean that it's our vehicle. Our vehicles are owned by the province. Your vehicle was owned by the city doesn't make it your vehicle that you can take for, you know, outside of, or not work purposes. So, here, how about you explain, so what happened with, uh, with getting let go? How about, uh, let's start there. Man, they, they chumped me up on some bull crap, man. The foreman doesn't like me. Foreman doesn't like you, so you got let go on some bull crap, okay. Yeah. He thought I was doing sketchy things. Okay, I see. Okay, well, look, right now, so, right now, since that vehicle is owned by the city, right, and you're no longer working for the city, you were fired, uh, that vehicle, I, I with it being I in your possession, as far as I employment. can tell, is a stolen vehicle, right? So, I have reasonable I grounds that to believe that it. you are in... Okay, just let me finish. So, right now, I have grounds to believe that you're in possession of stolen property, right? I mean, you could believe that, but it's not true. Okay. Well, with the information that we're given right now, and the fact that the title is still in the government's name, and not your name, makes it stolen property at this point I'm, I'm on say it, it had been in your name 
then it wouldn't be marked as stolen property. You can always have that changed with the courts. You can contest all of this in courts, but from what we have here is what we have to go off of. It's not, we can't just, we can't always take your word for stuff. Especially with something See, that's in writing. It doesn't matter if the foreman's against you. It needs to be in your name for us, or we need to have paperwork that shows uh, we need to have paperwork that shows like it been transferred ownership, but not in a system. Over. It's Essentially, okay, no, we need so, to see that you're legal ownership, or it's gonna be constituted yeah. as stolen. So for now, I have to, so re just right now I have to read you something. So for Right now, I'm arresting you for possession of stolen property. You may call any lawyer you want. There is a 24-hour telephone service available, which provides a legal aid duty lawyer who can give you legal advice in private. This advice is given without charge, and the lawyer can explain the legal aid plan to you. If you wish to contact a legal aid duty lawyer, I can provide you with the telephone number. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay, and do you wish to speak to a lawyer? I will later. Okay. And after, uh, after me reading you that, uh, do you wish to continue speaking to me about this? Not necessarily, man. I think y'all are working for the foreman. You don't? Okay, if you don't want to speak to me, that's perfectly fine. We'll just transport you back and you can speak in private to counsel, okay? Do that then. Do you have do you have your own lawyer that you can contact or would you like us to contact legal aid for you? I think I got a guy, but we'll, I'll have to call him. Okay. Yeah, once we get back to the office, uh, we can set you up with that phone call. You'll be able to call your guy and get that all set up, okay? Just before we put you in the car, I'm just going to give you a quick search here. Do you have anything dangerous on you, like work tools that are sharp, knives, razor blades, anything like that? Yeah, can't you see the scissors and stuff in my pocket, man? Yeah, I, yeah, I, I see those. That was more me like anything in your pockets. Hey, um, what's in this box, Kyle? This black box here. Uh, nothing. It's, uh, it's nothing? a Wi-Fi router. Hey, I found some black, uh, other black boxes that were in your vehicle. Wi-Fi routers. Um, I'm gonna go over to that telephone box that Kyle. Actually, Kyle, be truthful with us right now. Did you put one of those black boxes in that uh, electrical panel back there? I'll exercise if you my aren't, oh yes. You are. Now, so he's um, he has stated that he doesn't want to speak to us anymore, right? So All we're right. not going to ask him any more questions that could potentially have an incriminating answer until he speaks to counsel. Yes, understood. All right. Uh, I got a dog in the back of my car, which would be not prudent for transporting him. Does one of you mind taking him down to the office? I uh, um, got to take a quick go... phone call. Where'd Miller go? Uh, he's just down the block checking those uh, power boxes. Did you find out what they are yet? Uh, no, don't exactly know what they are yet. And he doesn't really want to be that forthcoming with us, so... Okay, I'll go get... Um... I'll go grab my car and you can put them in there. All right, Kyle, if you want to hop in the back of my vehicle. 
Uh, you can put him in your car if you want, Sarge, but I'm just gonna undertake him and cut him on the scene here. Oh, okay, never mind. Ooh, Guess I'm you're gonna stay there, Kyle. I gotta get a 1051 to 9089 strawberry for an abandoned vehicle. Jeff, we're there on route. Okay, go five minutes. Five four. Hey, you don't have rights to touch those. 113 Pilsner Falls. 113. I just gave them a call hey, and uh, they've been the only trucks that are uh, on service right now. Okay. It'll actually be about an hour and a half to two hours. Oh, I'm worrying about it. Those are my problems. Stand for it. Stand for it. Can I mark you on your lunch break? Bamboozled. <laughs> well, 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 well. What? Sound muted. Sound Apparently, resume. those mysterious black boxes are in stolen property, which. Under seizure of us. So, all contents will be can be given back. The request, uh, if you go to the station and request it back. Why well, will you ain't even got to worry about it? Uh, I need the keys to the box. Yeah, yeah. No. there you go. Thanks. Uh, there's a there's a couple of them on the ring there. Just see if see if any of them open that box. Third, yeah, I'm gonna go uh, get electric after this. That is against OSHA. Huh? That is against that is a big OSHA violation, man. Okay, I'll call city then. Yeah, you're gonna yeah, call. We're you're gonna, gonna get the box call open. Guy. Yeah. It's the weekend, man. They they don't got on, they got on calls, but they get on call paid. The city ain't gonna pay for that. They barely paid me a set to work, Dan. I work full time. Smith Falls, 213. 213? You can show me 10-7 outsiders for the night. Time for have a good night. Time out at 20-45. Have a good night. See you, boys. Have a good night, mate. I have in my hand here. And to do that, I need to take your handcuffs off, so... But, I mean, if you want, I can just tear it up and we can put you in jail. That's that's another option, too, right? But... Yes. Alright, here. Face away from me. Alright, so this is a undertaking to peace officer that owls or anything like that. I'm just going to release you on the spot here. Uh, you're not permitted to take the vehicle, it's being seized, as well as the black boxes that we found on you, those are being seized as well. Uh, but once my partner is done with uh, the keys, we will give you your keys back, I'll give you your phone back, I'll give you those scissors back, everything like that. That's okay for you to have. Hope you get electrocuted. So, your mandatory condition is you have to attend court over on McDonald Street. Do you know where the courthouse is there? Yeah. Okay, so at 9 a.m. on April 20th in room 103. Okay, it says that on the paper in case you forget, but it's on the 20th is your court date. And your additional conditions, again, it's all defined on the, on the undertaking here, so you can read it if you forget them. But you're not to be in the driver's seat of any vehicle except your own. You're not to possess any break-in tools or instruments, as well as you yeah, are not to attend half, the 9,000 block of Grove Street. Okay. 580. Yeah, can you show me 10 cents for that? Thank you very much for dispatching. We really appreciate it. Okay. 10 for Alpha 550. I'll, have I'll a wonderful a pen here. Can you just sign where it says accused be signature there? Uh, it's not admitting guilt Step or anything like here. that. It's just acknowledging for that all your hard work you understand education. the conditions that have been laid out for you, and you will abide by them until you attend your court date. Make sense? Sure. Okay, we'll wait. We'll just wait for my partner to get back because I assume you want your keys back. That'd be great. All right. Uh, thank you. All right. So, which of the so the, these tr the keys for the truck are on here? Yeah. So we'll be taking those. Those will be C's. 
Oh, don't forget I'm the back. keys to electrical. Sorry. Any city keys? You need to be confiscated as well. I don't know, man. Which? I'll take my how keys do you back, still... though. I don't understand how I used to have this after being fired. Wait, or, you don't have a permission yeah. to touch load. Eh, it's, 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 it's municipal government, I wouldn't put anything past them. Anyways, here is the rest of your keys back, the ones that you are permitted to have. And what else do I have of yours? I have your phone, so there's your phone. Alright, well, they seem like they got this, uh... Oh. Wait, well, no, 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 no. Maybe not. Those no. are being seized, no. like I said. No, that's, uh -uh. that's my key, man. You used it to open a city electrical box. What do you mean no, it's yours? No, no. Yeah, no. That's the other key that you have. Um, I don't think so. I took the one off that you used on the on the box, right? Oh, yeah. Oh man, I don't know. Okay. I don't think so. I, I think that's the right okay. One. Well, do you want? It says, okay. Well, uh, do you do you want to get out of here, or do you want to go down to cells and then it all gets checked into evidence, anyways? I would like to leave. Yeah. Okay. So. so here, there's your phone. I'll hand you that back. And here. I'm going to put the scissors on the trunk of the car here, and I would like you to grab them and immediately put them in your pocket. Okay? Don't do anything with them. Just put the scissors immediately down, back into your pocket where they were. All right? Put those in your pocket. Put them in your pocket. It's almost like these are my scissors. Uh, well, you know what? We'll see if uh, we'll see if the city of Ottawa wants to follow up about their scissors, but somehow I doubt it. Hey, can I get the uh, electrical box keys? I'm just gonna. City uh, yeah, one, two it. hours. I'm just gonna go open the. Yeah, sure. We 